Welcome to the quick review of the Cool Cloud Bluetooth Shared Data Loader User Guide. Now we'll take a look at the item. It has a, a power switch. It can be placed in the on-off position. It has to be in the on position for programming or moving data to the board. Off is just to save battery power. A status LED uh, will blink every four seconds. If it blinks a rapid three times, it means you have a low battery. Uh, and uh, of course, it goes out when it's in the off position. Uh, you have the loading connector on the bottom, and on the rear of it, a battery slot accepts the uh, CR2032 little coin battery. And here's a look at the items. Uh, a little bit larger than a memory chip, and you'll see on the bottom the regular loader we see on all the memory chips. Uh, a little LED blink in the top left corner in the on off switch. Uh, we will not go over loading of the app. The app should be loaded for the board. We do have other videos on loading the app, uh, but it will use the Cool Cloud app, and uh, you will review uh, with the Cool Cloud app and, and find it like you would a furnace. And it's a good example. So we'll switch it on. You'll have the blue light blinking uh, with it turned on. Uh, the Cool Cloud HVAC app open. It will detect a new Bluetooth network and display the shared data card. If it does not appear, hit the refresh button. Uh, if it does ask for a pair code, the pair code is 123. Uh, once it's found and you hit it, it will come up with shared data card reprogrammable. Uh, you will select that and it'll take you to the overview screen. Then click on Shared Data. From here, the appropriate shared data can be selected by either scanning a barcode that can be found on the unit or typing the model number in of the unit. Uh, the 2D barcode uh, is recommended to more accurate. Make sure you have the proper number. Uh, if it's damaged or you can't find, you can always manually enter the unit. Or if you're going in the uh, uh, field, the unit's in the field, and you want to reprogram it in-house and send it out, of course, you'll have to enter it manually. Uh, if you are in front of the unit, the 2D barcode is typically found somewhere inside the unit. Uh, for indoor units, the barcode typically found on the blower deck. Outdoor units typically found on the inside of the control board compartment. If you do decide to look it up manually, uh, when this comes up, you can start typing and it will uh, reduce the list. Uh, example, DZ18 will bring up just the DZ18s. DZ would bring up the DZ16 and the 18s. After selecting equipment, either by scanning or by manual entry, uh, the shared data screen comes up. Please review the information and make sure it's the proper equipment before continuing. It will give you a warning. It will reset any previous settings. If the uh, chip has been loaded with data, uh, reloading it at this point will erase all the old data and create a new chip. You would have to say yes on completion. It will say share data successfully loaded. Uh, loading shared data on the ComfortNet equipment. Uh, we have another good video on this. Uh, but if you are going to load the data, keep in mind you should power it down, plug it into the board, power it up. And the equipment needs to be powered for a minimum 30 seconds, and the shared data will be loading on the board. When completed, the power equipment back off. You can retrieve the card from the unit, reconnect power and power up, and you should be good to go. Uh, most boards will have a display, an idle, an on uh, you can also look from commands from a thermostat as a CR1, CR3, etc. Loading shared data on Comfort Bridge equipment. Uh, anytime you have a new board you install and you don't have a chip with you and you do not have the reprogrammable chip, as long as you have the internet and the Cool Cloud app, you can do it Bluetooth. Uh, the chip is only required if the Bluetooth was an unable to load the data or uh, the customer may not want to use the Bluetooth to move the data and prefers we supply the data through the chip to them.
to load the shared data on comfort bridge equipment first with power down insert the card into the program slot uh, turn the power back on once the board is fully powered on use the left right and center buttons to navigate you'll press the right button to see cr on the screen press the center and select the cr menu ignore the codes that flash on the screen instead hold the left and right button down for 10 seconds if the display switches to cr again check the bluetooth shared data loader is properly inserted after holding the left and right button for 10 seconds, the display will start flashing a new code. Uh, when you see that, release the left and right buttons. You should see yes or no on the screen. You can scroll with the right or left button through yes or no, but get to the yes and push the center button two times to confirm your selection. The board will then start the shared data load process. Once the shared data load process is complete, the display goes back to CR and you know you have completed the process. That is the end of the quick review of the shared data loader. Uh, once again, any questions at all, please contact us. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.